and what's up you guys it's your girl Ashonda B and I am back with a new video so I'm randomly deciding to do a vlog because most of my vlogs I feel like it's not never just me alone by myself and now that I have the time to you know do some things for myself pamper myself and all of that good stuff I might as well vlog because like why not y'all get some content and I got me some coffee going I just got through eating breakfast I made me some scrambled eggs and some sausage um with my coffee my man is at work right now and my son is at school so I got some free time on my hands so I'm gonna show y'all um how I wear my hair while it's not retwisted with my favorite hairstyle that I like to wear while my hair is not retwisted and I got some cleaning to do I'm finna clean up the bathroom um just straighten up the bed you guys got my big bear right there just straighten up the bed and then um I'm about to vacuum and clean up my sunroom as well so I'm gonna just take y'all along with me today so welcome to my vlog so yeah, your girl got to make a store run to get some cleaning products. So I'm going to be using this and some Fabuloso, I think we have downstairs, to clean up the bathroom. And then of course, I'll be using Windex on the mirror because that's like my favorite part. I love a nice clean bathroom, but if that mirror ain't done, I feel like the bathroom ain't clean, period. Okay, so we got the Windex for that. Plus y'all, when y'all share a bathroom, you got a son and a man. Y'all know, if you know, you know, it gets messy. Okay, actually my man, let me not, because my man is actually really good at cleaning and keeping things up. But this week been hectic for you girls, so I can't stand a nasty bathroom. That's just me. And one thing I hate in the bathroom that just irritates me is wet sinks. Like when people wash their hands and the sinks are just wet. So we need to get a... um paper towel holder in our bathroom because we don't have one right now i'm gonna try to find one at target that kind of matches the theme in here but yeah y'all i'm gonna get to it though, okay y'all the amount of slob my baby had on his sheets from sleeping is insane i don't even want to show y'all <laughs> so i'm washing his sheets right now i hate the fact that this thing makes so much noise but washing his sheets right now and i'm so busy talking that i forgot to actually put the detergent in the stuff so it goes in that little hole right here and this is what we use for the like fabric softener stuff just put some of them right up in here close that up and then put the detergent in here and then we just started the same way we did all right y'all so i got it revived up in here i love the color of our floor with the black like black interior is my favorite but yeah, and it's me looking up on a hot boo and got my coffee. But yeah. Yeah, so I just finished cleaning my son's room. Now I'm watching O'Neal. This is actually my third vlog of me watching her while I'm cleaning and vlogging. So yeah, y'all. I honestly didn't get super tired and sat here watching Arnell and I don't feel like getting up, but I'm about to get ready to shower, do some skincare. I think I'm going to do like um, a slight concealer look today. And of course, I need to tweeze my brows. So yeah, let's get into that, y'all. All right, you guys. So I'm back. I went ahead and tweezed my brows off. Well, not off camera, off of the video because I'm going to be doing that separately inside of a um, Instagram reel because I just feel like it's too short of a process to just add in to my actual YouTube video and I've been wanting my YouTube videos to be extended. So y'all will probably see that before y'all actually see this vlog, but yeah. And then I just added some organic um, olive oil after tweezing and um, shaving it down just to help with the calmness and irritation of the skin and the redness as well. These shavers I got, it's a brand named Gigi. I get these from Ulta. Um, and then I just used the Benefit um, brow, pomade brow brush to kind of help, you know, 
kind of put the hairs in a direction that I want it to go so it'll help the process of the tweezing. And then these tweezers, I honestly don't know where I got them from, but it says Daisy Fuentes, Daisy Fuentes. So yeah, I got this one. And then sometimes I use the skinny tips for like the really small hairs. And then I just use the shaver to get the little hairs that just hard to get off with the tweezers, as well as the hairs that I can't really see because I have blonde hairs in my um, eyebrow area. So yeah, we need to get them snatched up, but this is how my natural brows look with no product, no anything. But let's get into some skincare now. So today I'm gonna be going back in with the Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser from You to the People. I just did an upload on this. Um, I won't say yesterday, cause I don't know when I'm gonna push this video out, but as me recording, I just did an upload on this and reviewed it yesterday, um, recording wise. And I actually love the way it made my skin feel. Um, it made my skin feel really hydrated, like minimized the pores, and it was very smooth. Honestly, if it continues to do that, I'm probably gonna have to say this is my this would be my overall favorite cleanser because I do like the feel that it gives a little bit more than my key so care cleanser. Don't shoot the messenger, okay? And y'all know that's my favorite cleanser, but we'll have to see the results of this overall and continue to use it. If it keeps doing that, then this is a good one, okay? It's very expensive and I honestly would not have bought this if I didn't get it in a PR package just because I can't afford it. But overall, I think that the cleanser and the mist is worth the price. You get the glass packaging um, and you get actual goods with the formula with this so uh, and healthy ingredients so i do think that the cleanser and the mist well the cleanser is worth the price the mist is very very good and i know they spent product i mean i know they spent a lot of money on this packaging i could just tell because it's quality but 42 dollars i think it is for a four ounce mist i would say 30 30 at most but overall they're still good so we're gonna go in with the cleanser and I'm gonna just show y'all if y'all ain't watch the review, it's okay. We're gonna show y'all how the cleanser work. I wet my hands a little bit. The lather on this is really nice. I did mention in the review that the more water you add, the more of the lather, um, the more it lathers up and you don't need a lot of soap, which is actually good because this is already a big bottle and an eight ounce. And I feel like for somebody that cleanses their face day and night every day, this will honestly last me a really long time. So if you don't, keep up with your skincare every day, day and night like me. This will last you even longer. I'm gonna have some more water, y'all. Oh yeah. We gonna cleanse, cleanse. This area feels really smooth just because I just did my brows right there. Feels really good, y'all. All right, y'all. So this is how my skin is looking cleanse. I love the results every time. It does not even feel like I've used anything. You know, some cleansers that make your face feel like a certain type of stickiness afterwards. And my case so here one don't do that for me either. But this one, it feels fresh, feels natural, airy. Like I can literally feel my skin breathe, you guys. And it's super smooth, okay? Super smooth, but I'm not gonna use a toner today. I'm actually gonna go in with the mist that I was just talking about. And I'm just gonna use this as my toner today. And over the whip, why not? Oh, this smells and feels so good. My two favorite items for, from the brand so far is these two. Like, look at the glow. And it doesn't feel like you have anything on your face after application, at least for me, you guys. These are all of my own personal, you know, experience. I don't know if anybody else has experienced anything, but I love it, okay? I love, especially the mist. I love the way it sprays. Look, look how that sprays, like, it's giving, okay? All right, so next we're gonna go in with the Good Molecules Discoloration Corrective Serum. The amount of these I sell within a day at work is like ridiculous. <laughs> Good molecules, we need to collab now. We got the PR package now, we need to collab because this is so good. I haven't even had it for that long. I would say for about four weeks, I think I've had it. 
and it's literally been like taking care of the dark marks so we're gonna put that on to dry y'all know i put my serums and moisturizers all in the same four spots those are my target areas i'm not going to rub it near the um area i just tweezed though because i just don't want it to cause any irritation or burning so we're not gonna rub it directly in those areas so i'm gonna let it dry down for a second and then apply my moisturizer that way i'm not rubbing too much into this area there all right so we are drying down a little bit Ooh, i look so good y'all do y'all like randomly just look at yourself like in your natural habitat whether you're wearing makeup whether you just woke up out of bed like i don't care what what you yeah, going on at the moment just randomly look at yourself and be like god worked his magic but i'm gonna go in with the good molecules silicone free priming moisturizer i always say this like tongue twisted but i'm gonna go in in those same spots y'all and apply I hate apl applying um, skincare because I do not do not be looking aesthetically pleasing. I'll be trying to get it in, okay? I love this moisturizer as well. Only thing, uh, like, I won't say dislike, but which was a quicker process is like actually rubbing it into the skin. It takes so long. Like most moisturizers, you can just rub it in and it dissolves right away. But this one, baby, you gotta work it and penetrate it into your skin. And I ain't complaining. I mean, y'all know I love skincare, but gosh. As I complain. <laughs> I ain't complaining as I complain. <laughs> Let me stop though. It's a really good moisturizer. It just takes forever to actually apply this is a moisturizer you have to apply when you got time because if you're on your way to work honey you're gonna be late all right moisturize the poop period okay now y'all we go in with spf i'm not going to be putting a lot of this on just because i don't plan to go outside today besides going to get my son of course so i won't be in a lot of sun exposure but I still be wearing SPF anyway, whether I'm in the house or not. I put on SPF right before a nap, child. <laughs> Don't listen to me, y'all. But yeah, we looking good. And I'm just gonna brush the brows back up because I gotta finish off my reel. Y'all know I gotta have to get the skin glowy and stuff, so you know the reel can't be. Listen, the amount of work I put into my content. Okay, I be working. Y'all, then I almost forget about the lip mask. I've been using the Milani lip mask. And I've been loving it so far. I've been trying to see if it like um, dries on my skin after using it, but it actually lasts a while, especially for the price point. I think it was ten dollars. But only way, only reason I brought up the lip dryness is because a lot of people have been saying that the Laneige lip mask dried their lips out after a while, and I haven't experienced that thankfully. But I don't know. I haven't noticed it to even experience like i haven't noticed that it dries out my lips more but i don't think it did so i just want to add that in there that this does not dry your lips out it literally stay hydrated for a really long time before you decide to you know take care of it or wipe it off or whatever the situation may be so i really like this it smells good and it has a great like citrusy taste to it all right y'all so this is how the brows are looking brushed up Try to brush in this area because this is like my bald head brow area. <laughs> this is the only brow that get that got a little, you know, bald head area. This one full to the T, honey. So I'll be trying to get them perfect and brushed up, but I'm still blessed because I got a lot of brow, y'all. A lot of natural brow. And so when I add a brow pencil to it, it just chef gets. But yeah, I'm gonna get ready to. I don't know if I'm gonna take a bath or a shower because I'm trying to be on a time span because we gotta go get my son. So I might end up taking a bath if I have time. So yeah, y'all, get it to the pamper day, okay? All right, y'all. So my plan was take a bath, but my Chipotle came. So 
I'm finna slam this. I know it look messy, but that's how I like it. I get the steak, um, the corn, which it looks like they forgot. Um, cheese, of course, the salsa, lettuce, and light sour cream and avocado. So I'm finna slam this and then I guess I'll get into my bath paint room because yeah. All right, y'all. So I had to turn the water off so y'all can hear me, but I'm finna go in and put this Dr. Tears. This is the pure Epsom salt balance and calm with matcha green tea. And I'm finna put this in my bath. <laughs> And then this is the body wash I've been using. So I returned the Olay, the new Olay one that Jackie Ina was um, mentioning on her TikTok, I think. I don't know. I watch Jackie Ina on all social media, so I honestly don't know which platform it was. But it had the um, black designer that designed like the graphics on the bottle. And I thought that was pretty cool to try. But the ingredients is not giving what it's supposed to give. Y'all know I've been trying to follow healthy ingredients for skincare, body, all of that, eating, everything, okay? So I went with the native, you guys. This is the coconut and vanilla one, and it smells so good, so good, y'all. Yeah. Smells so good, and this is a healthy option. So I've been loving this. I love the way that it feels on my skin. So yeah, I put a little bit of this in the tub when I'm taking a bath, too. Um, just to get the smell and the aroma while the steam from the bath is coming because y'all I make my bath really hot and then um, I just go in and wash myself down when I'm ready to do that. So yeah. <laughs> So this is how that is looking once I add the native body wash there to the water. And I always put my cam candles on my bath. I don't know why, but it's so pleasing to me. So yeah, y'all. All right, y'all. So this is what I'm going to be using for exfoliation today. This is Frank Body's Original Coffee Scrub. It's actual coffee scrub, like coffee grounds. It smells so good. I'm going to just show y'all how it looks. And it does get very messy, so of course I'm gonna have to clean the tub again, but that's okay. Like actual coffee grounds, y'all. So, oops. like I said, it gets messy. So, um, I'm gonna be using this for exfoliating today. I just really like how it feels on my skin. At least my skin looks super duper soft. And it smells like coffee, but it smells like, I don't know, it doesn't give me like, actual coffee ground smell like it's strong in coffee but i feel like it may have some other scents in it or something like um essential oils that dims it down but it smells so freaking good y'all and i'm gonna be using a turmeric body butter right after so yeah it's about day okay y'all turn my light off because i like to take my baths in the dark and the end of the candle do the light i don't know what it is about that but it's just aesthetically pleasing but look at the skin, okay? My ring light is just, it just hits, okay? Especially in the bathroom. That's why I do most of my skincare content in here because it just hits, okay? But you gotta look good, but I'm finna get ready to pamper myself because like I said, I'm on a time frame, y'all, and I'm taking all day, okay? So I'll be back. All right, y'all, see, girl is out the shower. Got on my shower towel here, as y'all can see, so I can dry down. Wow, I style my hair, so take that out of my bonnet. And I'm gonna go in with my spray bottle. Um, this has water and a little vera juice in it. And I just spray down my hair for hydration with this. And yeah, I be going crazy. I try to get the scalp area to make sure that my scalp is fully hydrated, y'all. Especially in the front. And then I just go in and massage. Massage, massage, massage. Today is actually my wax day too. I have to wax my armpits and my legs. Y'all probably can't tell, but I have a little hair there. Um, and my legs though, so. Then I go in with my tea tree. This has tea tree oil, 
um, Jama Jamaican, Jamaican black castor oil, and then what is else is in here? Teach olive oil. I'm like, I don't even know what I put in here, y'all. But I'm just gonna go in with that and get my hair a little shine. Try to put it mostly in my front area with the spray and the oil because that's my driest area. So I need the most hydration there. And don't ask me why I'm recording in the dark, y'all. I just felt like it was aesthetically pleasing. So that's what I'm doing. Plus it's like, it's like my meditation. Especially when I get out of the bath, this is how I get myself together um, and calm down and relax before my day because i don't know if my day is gonna be hectic if it's gonna be crazy if it's gonna be good so i try to meditate when i can so yeah y'all so we did that and let me grab my brush of course okay y'all so first i'm gonna use my hands and part my front locks Like that, okay? Because as I said, I'm doing my favorite hairstyle today that I usually do when I'm not, my hair is not retwisted. So I just hold it like this, take a brush. And of course I don't brush my coils in. I just brush this hair that's gonna go in a ponytail because you know, the flyaways be crazy, okay? So I take a headband. I try to push that ponytail towards the front because I like it to fall down. So we can go in and put the ponytail in. Make sure the ponytail is even here. That's what I'm trying to do. Sometimes I don't like like overlapping it because then it's too tight. So two laps did the job. And this is literally it, y'all. I'll brush the rest of the hair. Brush the rest of the hair. Then I brush out baby hairs to release tension. My ponytails are usually not tight. Um, that's like, that's a stickler for me. I don't, if it's gonna be tight, I don't do it. I already have thick locks. And I'm not trying to be bald head. I'm not trying to push my line in the back. I don't know if that's a mess or not, but I ain't trying to find out. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now I'm just going in with edge control. I'm using the um, Cream of Nature, the Honey Edge Control. And putting that over little spots. I ain't going too crazy. Just a little bit. This combination, the coil with the edge control on top. Does it for me? Okay, does it for me? And I'm just gonna go in with a thin little rag to comb and kind of just bring the hair up the whole thing and do the same thing on this end. Bring the hair up and then here, bring the hair down with my finger over it to hold it flat. For the most part, y'all, this edge control actually works for me. I feel like if you have deeper uh, curls than me or coils than me, it might not work for you. I'm just being honest. Um, my hair before locking, it was three different curl patterns, 3B, 3C, and 4A. So if you have like really kinky hair, 4C, 4B, this edge control might not work for you. And I'm just going to be honest y'all because I know that a lot of brands don't make edge control for everybody which sucks but yeah I'm just adding some to the outer parts of my hair and then that's literally it y'all so I'm going in with my scarf here that I low-key need to put back in the washer but it's honestly not dirty dirty it's just me being a stickler i like anything to go on my skin and my face to be clean and then i'm just gonna wrap that wrap 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 it wrap it wrap it wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it all the way around tie right there and then i get into 
on my body moisturizer while this sits and that just helps me save time and you know i'll, I'll be trying to calculate everything y'all and i don't know if it's because i'm a mom but i have to do stuff at a certain time at a certain time pace because i'm still a woman at the end of the day and i still like to look good okay so yeah i just make it work Oh, and I didn't tell y'all why I like to choose this. It's my favorite hairstyle when my hair isn't retwisted. It be, it's because I can make the front area um, look like needs. And if I want some baby hair for extravaganza, then I can do that without telling that my hair isn't retwisted. Now, let's just put this in the air. I'm not the type of person that wants their locks to be nice all the time to be neat because it's locks and locks are not a nice and neat hairstyle okay you just gotta let them be free sometimes so i just want to say that because i don't want to put that out there that you need to be your locks need to be up nice all the time no because some, most of the time i say 93 percent of the time i'll be running around and my locks be loose and i still be looking good okay i still serve free edges and all so yeah yeah so now I'm going to go in with my turmeric body butter and this is from a brand called Boonie Cosmetics. They are black owned and I did do a review um, on this a while back. I'll put the video in the description box but yeah since then I've just been loving it even more and more. So yeah I love this you guys and I'm about to use this for moisture. I'm going to actually show y'all like the glow and why I love it. Okay. First of all it smells really good really good sweet but not over the top but i'm gonna do a little little re re show the application for y'all y'all see that that little bit that i applied mm -hmm. yeah very good y'all like the glow for me but let me finish getting dressed moisturized all of this stuff and i'll be back all right y'all so i put my clothes on and this is the deodorant that i'm going to be using today um and this is not a luna free deodorant it's the dove cool essentials the aloe vera one advanced care and it's not the best deodorant but it's better than the one i was using before and y'all know i actually been loving this deodorant for a long time i just haven't kind of been in a long time so i just had to go pick it up so yeah it smells good oh it smells so good it's like a spa okay so next i'm going in with the victoria's secret love spell sunkissed um mist and i know i'm not a lot of people use these anymore these are kind of like my lounge wear scents when I want to be in the house but still smell good. So yeah, as y'all can see, this is one of the ones I love. But yeah, we just want to this. Then lastly, I got the Dolce & Gabbana, um, the, like the purse size fragrance and the new Lily one. I think the Lily is the newest one they have. I have the garden one that I love. It's super sweet, but not over the top. And this is how that is looking. And I'm just gonna pair this with the body mist because I love to stack my fragrance, y'all. I just do. That smells really good. Sweet, but floral, subtle. Rubbing this all over myself. It smells so good though, y'all. So good. And this is how the big bottles look. It's just like more exaggerated, but I don't know. I feel like I'm right. I ain't gonna speak so soon, but I might like that one better in the garden. Yeah, it smells good. Okay, y'all. So I'm gonna put this on my hands. I'm gonna put this on my hands. And then I'm gonna go in and put on my Fenty Gloss, this is the shade Glass Slipper. It's the clear one, but y'all, I use it so much with like other glosses and lipsticks and liners that it just, it got stained inside, but all right. This is also, I feel like this formula for this one is thicker, thicker than the other formulas on her uh, glosses, but I'm not mad at it. You gotta do the most for the clear gloss, okay? That's like the staple gloss, so. Yeah, y'all, I'm done. I feel good, I look good, I smell good, yeah. 
Oh, it's giving, okay, it's giving, giving, giving. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna close out my pampering slash cleaning slash chilling vlog for you guys today. And yeah, I'm finna get ready to go get my son. And I know today you're gonna get chaotic because I gotta make him lunch before he gets out of school, go pick him up from school, spend time with him together. And when I like to have my bonded time with him, I like it to be just us, like no recording, no extra stuff, just us, okay? So yeah, you guys, thank you guys for tuning into my vlog. You close out, peace out.